Hey YouTubians, what's up? I'm another XYZ and welcome back to another Club Banger. Today we're doing something a little bit different. You may notice that there is no subreddit attached to this one because it's not about a subreddit. And before you click away from this video, this was a submission given to me by somebody a couple months back that I've been sitting on because I just didn't know what to do with it. Do I send it to a subreddit and then make it about a subreddit or do I just focus on the content that this person provided me? And all I can say is that this is one of the coolest Instagram accounts that exists. And it feels really close to Praying Mantis, which is pretty interesting. So if you guys are into that, stick around. But let's go ahead and hop right in to this submission. Hi, this is Blank from YouTube with some submissions. Now, these are not mine, but come from a handball player who plays for the elite Danish national team. Her name is Linnea Clausen. And just for the sake of clarity, that is my attempt to pronounce that. This person also submitted a sound clip of them pronouncing it. I tried as hard as I could to mimic those mouth sounds, but let's be honest, um, I am not the best at pronouncing things all the time, so for the rest of the video I'll be referring to her as Lene, even if that is the wrong way of saying it. I tried, I'm trying, so just bear with me on that one. She runs a big Instagram profile called A-Holes Online, where she posts the creepy PMs she receives. She often trolls them and sometimes posts their dick pics and unwanted sexual messages on their wall or sends them to his friends and family. A lot, and mostly the best of these interactions, are in Swedish, which is where I come in. A-Holes Online is a public profile and everyone has access to these pictures. You can obviously see my real name here, but I am blank to most of the internet for privacy reasons. And I'm going to go ahead and censor that out anyway. If you want to drop it in the comment section down below to credit yourself, go for it. It looks like you're pretty privacy-minded, so I'm not going to include any names on any of this. Now, here is one picture of them, and to be honest, when I was looking at this, I was just thinking how difficult it had to be to get a shot on an escalator like that, unless the escalator itself was shut off. You kind of have to wait for the perfect time, and you have to have a lens that doesn't suck and takes a picture fast enough with that clarity. So, an impressive picture for an Instagram account. And then there's this photo of them during their handball days. And I'm going to be real with you. I, when I was thinking about handball, I was thinking more wall ball, where you and your friends smash a big red rubber ball against a wall. That is not what handball is at all. So for those of you who are lost like me, like, what the heck is handball? I spent probably an hour and a half, two hours just watching a couple handball matches and like clips from handball. It's a really cool sport and is totally worth checking out. So if you have some free time, go for it. Now that we've got some of that background out of the way, we're going to jump into some of these posts that this person translated for me. Hi. If I were your son, I would have loved to have been breastfed by you. If I were your mom, I would have gotten an abortion. Ooh, hard savage, just right out the gate. Bro, shut down immediately. Lene, you look like a clown in your hair, and I think that's a shame on such a hot woman as you. Kind regards, Kent. I would rather look like a clown than act like a complete moron. Rip. Hard rip, my dude. What's up? You look interesting, from what little can be seen here on your profile picture. I am a courteous, sociable, and a determined guy with a put-together life in the city. Are you interested in talking some more on kick? Regards, Sebastian. Hello, determined Sebastian, and his put-together life. I don't think my mess and decision agony would match with your description. You would go crazy after a half an hour with me at the ice cream bar. Melon or dime or blueberry vanilla or maybe lemon sorbet? Life crisis. Well, you can already tell. It's not meant to be. We're not the type of people who will end up together in the end. But I believe there is someone for you out there, Sebastian. Although maybe not on kick. The only thing I've ever gotten from kick during the short period in my life in which I've used the app, is dick pics and old men trying to buy sex from me. So, I'm not sure if it's the place where you will find love. Anyway, love is out there, Sebastian. Don't give up hope. You are a psycho, damn it. Wanna meet up tonight? Sebastian, it feels as though you never listen anymore. I'm not even sure what to call this anymore. You have absolutely no regard for my feelings. Maybe it would be for the best if we were to go our separate ways. We both know that we don't make each other happy anymore. I can't see any other way out, I'm sorry, but I will always remember you. You know that. 
You are seriously deranged. Get some help. Star-crossed love with Sebastian. That escalated very, very quickly. But at the same time, like, this person goes back and forth from calling her a psycho and then wanting to meet up with her. Like, dude, what is your problem? People like you make me wish that we still performed lobotomies on humans, you nutter. You are ruining our whole country with your crap. And that's actually a pretty good... That's a pretty good drawing. I like that the little eat me mushroom thing. That's that's good stuff. Here, you have a picture of a male member, which is probably the only male genitalia you will ever receive. Ugly, disgusting woman. So might as well be grateful. <laughs> Try not to think of me when you masturbate, horny sex worker. Funny you say that to the woman that receives enough dick pics to use in his wallpaper. Oh well. I looked at your wall to try and figure out what kind of person you are. Girlfriend, children, you really are a good role model for them. I also saw that you're friends with your dad. How wholesome. Also practical for me. I can just send your dick pic and misogyny to him. I imagine you'll have an exciting conversation about this in the near future. Look at it as my humble gratitude. I don't care if you're 34. If you act like a brat, you deserve a scolding from daddy. Who's your daddy now? Oh, the caption, bro. Sent it to his dad. I'm all about this. I think that's one of the things that's super funny on this is people use their personal accounts to troll people. If you're, it's just internet 101. If you're gonna try and troll somebody, send them penis pictures and all sorts of wild stuff like that. I don't advocate it. It's not a good idea. It's dumb and it's the reason you end up on things like this. But at the same time, you're supposed to use a troll account, man. You don't use your personal account. Stupid. Bad move on that guy's part. Bad move all the way around. Why do you send unsolicited penis pictures to people? It's something that will never make any sense to me. Relevant translation. Six equals sex and sex equals sex in Swedish. It's the same word, but it holds different meaning with regards to context. Up for some anal six? Nobody says that. Okay. What the duck is your bloody problem? Maybe you've gotten too much dong in your bum. That you would know, you street walker. You've probably been diddling Miss Daisy for the last ten years anyway because you're so ugly. Nobody says diddling Miss Daisy. Christ on a goddamn bike. Look at how smart you are, you pretentious loser. Pretentious. You can soot off, Lene. You are ugly and fat and the most disgusting girl around. Sot off. Hey, got him with those spelling corrections, though. The thing that really gets me is the thing that he says about diddling Miss Daisy. Maybe it's something that I don't really know. Maybe it's something that's different in another culture. But we refer to, like, in the United States, driving Miss Daisy as kind of just being somebody who's driving slowly or driving like an old person. But diddling Miss Daisy, I don't even want to know what that entails. And before I get too far, yes, I do know that Drive-In Miss Daisy is a film, but I've heard people use it in an insulting manner to insult someone who is driving slowly or impeding traffic, so... Oh dang, and here she is posting on somebody's Facebook wall. Congratulations, you've just won the asshole of the month, and therefore, you have the privilege of getting your sad dick picture published on your wall for the whole world to see. I hope you will learn from this experience, that your behavior has consequences, and I hope you choose not to be an asshole online in the future. You'll only humiliate yourself. Dang! The the doodles over this are some of the best doodles I've ever seen on dick pics ever. Like this weird like wreath cross looking thing. I don't know if it's something that is more like Swedish culture or something. I don't understand. But it almost looks like some sort of weird Christmas type decoration. So it's pretty funny. Since it's Valentine's Day, would you mind sucking my plonker, sweetheart? Since it's Valentine's Day... Would you mind coloring your pubic hair rainbow colored, look up my vaginal yeast infection, and then set yourself on fire? Christ on a cracker! That's nasty! Why do you have to be so disgusting? You're off your trolley! Just trying to be romantic, baby. Dang! That is some definite praying mantis energy right there. I love that because that went way hard. Okay, so this next one is going to be like a six-part saga. So after each screenshot, I'm going to give a little bit of commentary and then just keep moving along. Your summer talk was the absolute worst. You're only good for banging. You brainwashed your dense followers, and you're just ugly and thick as two short planks. No one likes you. It would be better if you just shut up. You can suck my willy, sex worker. You can lick my menses vagina. 
You are disgusting. I'm vomiting, you bloody prostitute. And for anybody who doesn't know what menses is, it's referring to menstruation. And uh, yeah, got him. That's just a certified got him. There's no better way to shut down like weird, sexist, objectifying buttholes like this than to start talking about menstruation. Because the moment you start talking about it, you kill whatever little half boner that they have going on. So excellent execution. So this second one is a screenshot posted of the person trying to write in to get it removed, but remove the picture from assholes online, you POS, or you will get a shot to the head. Oh no, the picture stays. Okay, fine. Then you can expect a visit this week from me and my boys if you don't remove it right now. I'm not kidding. Remove it. Not gonna happen. All right, see you soon then. <laughs> I call bullshit. Ooh, 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 ooh. Homeboy is mad, and he's going to roll up with his boys. Uh, I have a feeling that you're not going to do any of that. So, she put up a video. Welcome Frederick and his boys. Oh, dang, bro. She's calling him out. That is such a flex move. And made a Facebook event for the arrival of Frederick and his boys. Dinner with Frederick and his boys. <laughs> what? <laughs> She's going to make him dinner? That's awfully nice. All right. You've had fun at my expense now. Remove the pictures and your silly videos now, you abhorrent streetwalker. Otherwise, I'll see you tonight, and I swear on everything it will be your last day alive. Well then, come right on over, you dimwit. I've been waiting here with the table set and door unlocked and have laughed at how fundamentally silly you and your boys are. How terribly rude of you to keep a host waiting, by the way. But now I'm tired of waiting for you and tired of your crap. And there are two things you still don't get, by the way. One, I will never let people like you change me. Two, I'm not afraid of you. It's been over two weeks since Frederick and his boys were to come over and do me in, and I'm still alive. Such a flex move. Every one of those, it was just a saga of a power move. And it's good to see people out here calling these people out, because a lot of the times in like subreddits like Creepy PMs, they kind of just post creepy messages that they get, which is kind of also why I like praying mantis and stuff like that, because it is showing a different side of things where you can actually flip the script on people. And I feel like after uh, some of these interactions, some of these people actually end up taking something away from it, like not being a creep or reducing your creepiness on the internet. But either way, thank you so much for the person who submitted this. It was awesome. I loved every second of it. I'm sorry it took me months to get around to this. Uh, I just didn't know how to approach the video, but I knew that I wanted to do a video about it the moment you sent it to me. So thank you so much for that submission. And like always, if you guys have anything interesting on the internet you want me to check out or read, it's not necessarily, it doesn't have to be 100% Reddit all the time. Just let me know in the comment section down below. And like at the end of every one of my videos, no glove, no love. Peace.